What's up guys, welcome back to another Madden 25 Scheme of the Week, and today we're talking all about running the football. Uh, love running the ball, love running it this year, it's one of the better ways to move the ball in my opinion. And uh, out of the Green Bay Packers playbook, we talked yesterday about the doubles flex wing, why it's so good. Um, there's a couple of different things I wanted to cover. First and foremost, a strong close does not have the off tackle, so that's not really a viable option. What's also notable is they do have the I-form tight pair stretch. Really good run. I think they also have the zone weak. Yep, there you see halfback zone weak as well as halfback stretch. So you could use something like that if you wanted to. Um, they have the slash from the doubles. I think that's actually a stock quick audible. The cool part about this here, guys, is if you take a look here, we can go from the doubles flex wing. And we can audible down into the tight flex. And what's notable about this, and this is uh, real quick before we actually get into the tip, if you motion this guy, he becomes a fullback. And so it's basically like an iPhone Pro kind of thing. And you can quick snap that and stuff like that. That's just a little fun thing you can do. You can make it off tackle. You can do whatever. And what's also notable about it is if, like, you know, maybe you go to the bench play here and you say, okay, I'm going to run the streak, the typical setup out of bench. And I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him back, act like I'm passing the ball, or act like I'm running the ball. And then I'm going to bring Gresham back out, put him on that drag, and motion snap the drag. Because we could flip the formation or whatever, get that motion snap working. Anyway, that's some quick little uh, right off the top of my head stuff, ideas about this. But what I really wanted to talk about is the shotgun wing trio uh, offset week, however you say this thing. But basically, this was Ha Shugs, the Mutt Invitational Tournament champion. This was his offense. And so what we like to do here is like to come out in the read option. And um, so that's the main audible we're going to have. We're going to have the read option. We're going to have the inside zone split. And uh, we're going to have this vertical tight end cross. And then we can have this, any of these screens. We could have the counter. We could have the power O, whatever we want to do. But I personally think the read option is the most versatile run out of this because you can run right, left, and middle. So we're just going to read the read defender. Typically, that read defender, if it's – I don't got Josh. This is why we have Josh Johnson in the game, uh, which I forgot to sub him in real quick. Let me get him in there. But uh, we have Josh Johnson in the game for this, and I think this is why – I really like this offense for Green Bay, or not Green Bay, but uh, for uh, Cincinnati, because you take advantage of the mobile quarterback aspect that they have. You're running the ball a lot, and uh, you're keeping the ball out of harm's way passing wise. But here you see, I mean, a lot of times when they if they crash down, Josh Johnson does a nice job at getting to the edge. Uh, so if they do that as well, uh, the run out of down is the inside zone split. It's a really power run. What I like to do, though, with the inside zone split is this. So I'll call the play, and I'll back juke as soon as I get the ball, and I'll run it outside. And that was a little bit of a bad example. But, like, what will happen is typically in Madden, especially this year, you have that little hesitation second where you can cut one way, and I like to bring it all the way back across the grain. So I kind of count that as my run off the left edge. Um, obviously, you can run it in the middle as well. That's why I like the answer split because you can run it middle, left, and you can also run it off tackle depending on how you cut because it's a shotgun run. See here, I can cut it out wide as well. Uh, but I think you get the best blocking if you cut it back left. Um, the reason is because this fullback is going to clear out a little lane here for you on the back side and allows you to kind of cut back if you want to. So I love that about it. Uh, but basically, guys, you want to just kind of run this wherever they're not. Uh, it's it's a it's a zone run, so it's a run to daylight type of uh, technique here. It's not a, necessarily a power run, but uh, you know you can hit it right up the hole for about three four yards, or you could uh, like I said do that little hesitation thing in the backfield, and um, in, in back you can come back out of it like that. Um, the other part of the read option obviously is is the the sweep portion uh, where you're going to run the ball in the middle. So we have that as kind of our run to the right as well. Uh, the cool part about the read option is, uh, like, I love the threat to, uh, you know, to bring it back. The only thing I don't like about the read option is you can't cut it back, like, with the back. So here, if I was to give it to Bernard and I try to cut back, it's a little bit diff more difficult. Um, you know, I luckily Geo broke a tackle. But, uh, you know, the idea is, especially out of the end zone splits, you have that extra blocker. So you don't have to break that tackle to spring you. Uh, especially if they, you know, aren't disciplined in their run defense. So this package here is really going to force your opponent to be disciplined. Uh, what's interesting also is that the vertical tight end cross, this uh, little play here, what I like to do is I like to place Jones on a fade route, Bernard on a wheel route, and then A.J. Green, I typically place him on like an in route, 
a curl route, an out route, anything really. I love the in route personally. I think it works best for this play. But basically, if it's off coverage, typically you can fit this fade end of Marvin Jones. Uh, inside pass lead, of course. Um, if it's man, so like if it's off coverage man, so they may be blitzing you or whatever. What's cool is you can hit this like drag in or whatever you're going to put on put green on. You can hit him if it's like off man because his route will do a good job of beating off man to man. Uh, what's also interesting is like if they're in say so like if they're also in man another thing you could do is you could actually throw that to Jones but it's a lot harder to use or catch it in my opinion so then what you could say is like if they're in cover three and you accidentally make a bad read then you can hit this little underneath route to Gresham he's gonna get popped but you can hit it to him what's really interesting to note is like the cover two so like if they're in just a regular cover two zone What's cool is this route to Sanu is going to do a nice job at getting open in the seams. Or if they decide that they're going to take away the route to Sanu like by cushioning coverages, then you're going to have this route to Gresham underneath. And you'll see here it cuts underneath, gets in a nice little void. Uh, real quick also about two men under. I forgot to mention two men under. What you're going to have against two men under is you're going to be able to hit this wheel route. Uh, you'll see that this wheel route pass lead to the left. You can get that open in space, try to break some tackles, or you could uh, hit this route to Jermaine Gresham over the middle here, pass lead down into the inside, and uh, run after the catch. And then finally, if they are press coveraging and you want a, a nice unbumpable route for Green, you can put him on that drag route, pass lead up, does a nice job at beating man typically. Um, so that's what you can do from this. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Obviously, you could run, like, what's also cool to note is, like, you could motion Gresham. So, like, for example, uh, crap, I called the wrong play. Let me just go out with Johnson. But, uh, so, like, if, I, if I'm running the ball, I can motion Gresham to, the, to that side, create another uh, doubles flex wing kind of look there. Obviously, you know, that would just be for certain circumstances. It didn't do a great job at holding up there for me. But uh, that's the idea with this. And this is just a really good formation, guys. It, Hoshugs, I mean, he runs this formation to death and uh, does a great job at working it. So I figured I'd break it down for you guys with, uh, while we're in the Green Bay Packers playbook. So check that out, guys. That is the Shotgun Wing Offset Week. And that is our three-headed rushing attack. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how we like to beat man-to-man -man coverage out of the Green Bay Packers playbook. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.